Hey folks, Apple's been in the news recently, as we all know, and I've recently discussed the Apple apology, basically saying, we're sorry guys, those of you that are power users and are looking for a powerful machine to do uh, whether video processing or if you need to do any of the higher end softwares and functions that you need a, a really well built machine for and we've let you down and something's coming to resolve that. Basically, the gist I'm paraphrasing here of Apple's apology, uh, and we've had a lot of feedback from that. I had a, a viewer write in, uh, one of our regular viewers. This is uh, Toxic Tabasco, that's their YouTube username. Interesting stuff, Matt. Apple has a huge profit margin when compared to PC manufacturers, basically because of the high cost of Apple marketing. With 4K and 8K on the way, it's going to be a real challenge for Apple to create import computers that will outperform the PC offerings, which will be considerably lower in price. It's unlikely Apple will convert high-powered PC workstation users to Apple, and they know that, so they will need to market harder, which will come at a huge cost. In the end, they will continue to have a huge fan base, even with their higher-priced desktop workstation users. I also used um, I also used PC from the early DOS days of the late 80s and early 90s. I remember the DOS days. I remember DOS well, memorizing that whole book of DOS commands <laughs> and desktops. But for the high power, um, over the decades, sorry, over the decades, I've bought Macs and Apple notebooks, laptops, audio devices, and desktops. But for the high power desktop workstations, for digital audio, recording, gaming, photography, and video, I always go PC for the power and speed and the lower cost. Am I a proud PC user? No. So thanks for your, your feedback, Toxic. And interesting. You make the point that you do always go for the PC when you need power and speed at the best price, but you say you're not proud of it. Um, I'm kind of the other way. I'm not embarrassed to use PCs. I love my PC power station. I mean, I built my i7-3930K. It's a six-core. What is it now? Four or five-year-old chip now? It's got 32 gig of RAM. I just recently upgraded to the RX 488 gig video card. I'm running a whole slew of SSD drives, but I don't feel any need to upgrade right now. I did look at all the benchmarks and my four or five year old i37, uh, i3930K is still performing within a very small margin of some of the best chips out there. So I, I looked at it and I thought, there's no need to be spending money on that at this point in time. If there had been a, a huge advantage to doing so, I would have probably upgraded my machine. But instead, I bought some uh, another, what did I get, two more SSD drives that I think I recently did the video on. I've got a 256 to switch over my OS system from the 128. And I added another 500, uh, both Samsung Evos. So that has really helped. The RX 488 gig has been amazing. Love that uh that's been the single biggest upgrade for me for editing 4K video was that uh, 8 gig uh, RX 480 card. Love it, love it, love it. Can't say enough good about it. Bang for the buck. It's amazing. Everybody I know that's also gone with it, very, very happy with it. I know nobody that has any complaints with it as far as having purchased it and down the road using it, how they feel about it. That's probably my best, probably could be my single best purchase of last year in 2016. Really, really sped up my 4K output. But anyways, back to PCs versus Apple. Yeah, I've always built PC stations. I have dabbled in Apple. I've had some Apple iPhones. The kids all have um, iPods. I have an iPad, which I'm using to monitor this right now. Uh, I had an, a MacBook Air. And I did not not like them. I must admit, I kind of, I guess I'm so used to the PC Windows system that I like the Windows system better. Uh, the new, The newest iteration of Windows... No problems with it. I, I prefer it, and I think it works very, very well. Um, and I just don't get... I think you're paying a lot for form, and I tend to think that Macs are built for people that don't know a lot or don't want to know a lot about their computer and how to deal with it. They just want it to, to work and don't want to tweak it and do things. So it's more of a closed system. And that's not me. I'm more of a tweaker, a hacker. <laughs> So, I mean, I'm not a hacker, but I like to play around with my system and be able to build into it and swap out parts and tweak it the way I want it. And if there's a problem, I like to figure out what it is and fix it myself, things like that. So if you're one of those type of people, perhaps maybe you're more like me and PC. And if you're somebody that doesn't really know a lot about or even want to know a lot about how a computer works, I think a lot of people then just buy a Mac because they think it works and they don't worry about it. 
So that's valid too. Um, but I think the underlying clause here from Toxic, the underlying statement is, I always go PC for the power and speed and the lower cost. And that's me too. And I think that's an abundant amount of people, if, if not the bulk of people. Um, and then because you're used to PC, you, you end up usually liking them as well. Um, I don't think too many people are not proud PC users like Toxic says. That's an interesting point and good for you for admitting it. Um, but yeah, that's um, what my reasons are. What do you guys think? Is that Are you in line with me and Toxic? Um, you always go PC for power, speed, and lower cost? Or are you on the other side? Do you, do you think it's not lower cost on a higher-end uh, Mac machine? I would dare anybody to try and prove that correct. Um, or are you of the opinion that um, the cost doesn't matter and you'd just rather have Mac? You really like Mac, whether you think it's more reliable or you just like the OS or you just like the, the entire package, the entire system. Maybe it's the looks that you like, which is valid too. You know, Aesthetics are a huge part of why we buy things. Let me know in the comments below. I'm just curious to see where you guys fall on this issue. Um, just a little bit more on the... And I'm not so much the Apple apology here, as I'm interested to see from Apple what comes down the pipe as a result of this and what they release for their new higher-end machines, their more powerful machines. But curious to know where you guys fall on the PC and Mac and what we're talking about here. Leave it in the comments below. Not there, there. <laughs> and thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.